ShireSociety.com. You want to go first, Jacob? Oh, yeah, let's go right to left. Um, hey, you guys, my name's Jacob. This guy from running out in the middle of the street. I didn't run out in the middle of the street. Let's see, I guess I, I started watching the police in 2000. I, uh, I started with a group called Cop Watch. And uh, it's been a very crazy journey. And uh, it's pretty exciting to be sitting in a room today with you know, other like-minded people and uh, to see a movement that's grown so much you know, since the first days that I started. I remember when we used to go out. Oh, sorry. Um, well, let's just put it this way. I think one of the most Im impactful and the most meaningful things for me doing this has been to watch people that otherwise were likely going to go to jail and uh, changing that situation. Um, I haven't seen police accountability really take place, and maybe we're going to talk about eroding the police state today, but I do know that my presence has made a difference. And so, if anything else, you guys should all know that, you know, being out there does stand for something. Having a camera and, and supporting people can change the whole difference between somebody's outcome, so. My name is Antonio Beeler. Um, I had been an activist um, for a couple years uh, when New Year's Day 2012 came upon me, um, but I never had engaged in police activism. I had been a supporter of the Innocence Project and I acknowledged that there were major issues with the justice system. Um, but on New Year's Day, uh, I got arrested and charged with a felony that I didn't commit. And fortunately for me, I had someone cop watching, uh, a guy across the street who just randomly pulled out his cell phone and videotaped it. And that took me from a position where there was a very good chance I could have spent some serious time in prison to being able to go on the offensive against the Austin Police Department and because of how the story played out and my background and the circumstances of the stop and the video, uh, I was able to get a lot of support that most, I don't know if anyone ever gets uh, when they face the police. And we thought that at that time it would be a good idea to channel the energy of all these people who typically don't care about police abuse like rich Cons white conservatives or you know establishment Democrats whatnot um, and so we launched peaceful streets and we actually use a lot of the tactics of cop lock and cop watch and other police uh, accountability organizations um, and uh, and we just tried to create as much um, you know turmoil for the police as possible in an attempt to try to change the culture yeah, so I'm a demo Freeman uh, in 2010 I founded coplock.org and Pete like from the beginning basically has been there and, and helped uh, make it what it is today as well uh, I did that primarily to highlight my experience as a victim of the war on drugs and like how I've had interactions with police and how I felt after those interactions but it quickly evolved to like a decentralized you know organization that it is today where just to be a hub of where folks can share information and you know, particularly about police, the police state, and like what we're going to talk about here in a little bit, eroding it. And so, you know, check out Coplock for more, and uh, we'll see. I, I think there's like four basic ways to break it down, and I think we're, we'll get into it pretty good. And hopefully, you all have a bunch of questions because I feel that's the most important stuff is trying to you know feed whatever information you guys need. So it's all about info. Thanks, Adamo. So my name is Pete Ayer, and uh, just been involved with Coplock. I think. Uh, the topic is of eroding the police state, how do we get from here to there? Uh, for me, I think it's most uh, revolves around like ideas and you know it really I guess underscores everything these guys have already said, but um, just getting away from the fear that this uh, the police state relies on everything and just like being empowered, knowing that you're not doing anything wrong, even though someone might say you're you're doing something illegal, you know. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. He didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.
www.ghostbusters.com.